looks a yes. little more hardcore yeah, for yeah. some reason. I'm just to do push-ups. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, here we go. Great. Here we go. Okay. okay. Yep, well, that's... That was not a push-up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. We're here at WGN. If you're not familiar with it, it's a Chicago newscast. Now we're at the Spotlight Chicago, a show that highlights different things around Chicago. Now together we'll be showcasing some of the coolest robots, including G1, T1, and also Go2. All right, so we actually got the robots ready to go. We're gonna do a quick little rehearsal to see how things play out. Uh, pretty cool studio. Not much to say, you got the live TV going on right over here. Shows right here, the timing, all that fun jazz. Uh, definitely very interesting. <laughs> But yeah, super fun. Yeah. Three, two, okay, perfect. Chef's kiss to the DJ. Okay, he is a YouTuber from Chicago with more than a million subscribers and more than 800 million views. His content is all about the latest in tech, gadgets, and robotics, and here with a preview of what the future may have in store for all of us. Uh, Conflicts creator, Sohail Khan. Sohail, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Okay, before we get into these great gadgets and robots you brought in with you today, let's talk a little bit about you. Yeah. Because you have a full-time job. This is not your full-time gig. Believe it or not, it actually is. Uh, it is now? Yeah. Okay, all right, great. But then, like, how did you get into this? I'm a pharmacist by uh, profession. Okay, oh, see, okay. I still thought you were a pharmacist. <laughs> okay. That's why. Yeah. No. no, no, I do work once in a while, but honestly, okay. this is my full-time gig now. So, okay. yeah, I've been doing this for, since I was 12, I've been making videos, and back in the day, I, I went ahead and reviewed a product, and I actually enjoyed it so much that the company actually messaged me, saying, hey, do you want to make some more videos? And then it just kind of cascaded into what they call a snowball effect where a bunch of companies started contacting me, and now here I am today, one of the KOLs for robotics as well as tech, and yeah, Wait, I'm what, here. <laughs> what does that mean, KOLs uh, for? Key, uh, key opinion leader, so it's oh, just. Oh, <laughs> did you know what that meant? I had no idea. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so. He's a fellow nerd, by the way. I know. I, I, I mean that in the wonderful, most wonderful That's why show. I looked at you, I was no, like, no, KOL. Like, yes, <laughs> I'm an unofficial nerd on the show, so there you go. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, yeah. we've hit 1 million subscribers, and I say we because, you know, it's a family thing, you know, me, my wife, my kids, it's, it's a group, group effort, you know, and it's really cool to be able to, you know, showcase things like this today. Very and cool. can we see a little bit more of things like this today? And do the robots have names yeah. that we should know? <laughs> so introducing, uh, we have the Unitree G1, the T1, and the Go2. Now, these guys here are humanoid robots, mm -hmm. which is uh, very popular nowadays. You've probably seen those on TV, more or less having a very scary trait. But uh, they can actually, you know, do a lot more than you could think. Yeah, so hell, they're usually trying to take over the world <laughs> and, uh, like, trying to steal your man or something. I don't know. Like, that's usually what's happening, right? <laughs> I mean, right? this guy's a little short, but... Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So you can actually there move around. All right. All right. A little demo here. Wow. So you can see, you can move them around, control them, just like this. And then you can also go ahead and even shake your hand. So let's have him do that. All right, come All right. on over here, buddy. Please don't murder me. Uh, there awesome. you go. Awesome, there we go. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, digital Danny DeVito. All so right. So you put his hand back there down. Okay. And then he can also even turn around okay. and wave hi to the camera. Oh, okay. very <laughs> nice. That's, that's terrifying. That's a little bit, right? I don't think yeah. you can do that yourself, to be so, honest. So, <laughs> uh, in terms of being able to help out around the house, what, what I mean, Sell me this uh, robot. Okay, so this particular robot is one of the cheapest ones on the market. Okay. It's okay. Uh, priced at roughly $16,000. Oh, that's cheap. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for a humanoid robot, yeah. which I guess, yeah, that, that's a bit expensive. But this particular robot has full capability for chat GPT, AI, oh. uh, being able to go and help you out with your chores. Right now, it's still in the beginning phases, so you can see it only doing basic movements. Mm -hmm. But it can show just about everything. Uh, now, we also have some special animations. For instance, okay. T1 over here. All right, okay. T1 so, looks a yes. little more hardcore yeah, for yeah, some yeah. reason. I mean, yeah, right. yeah. Okay, he, bring it, Frodo. Let's see what you can You can go do. ahead and look around a little bit here, and then if you want him to do, we can also do push-ups. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so, here we go. Great. Here we go. Okay. okay. Yep, well, that's, that was not a push-up. <laughs> are, are you okay, buddy? That was, I'm a little concerned. I'll be back. Is he okay? I don't that's, know. That's, it, looks, <laughs> it looks like me after a really bad Friday night right now. That's okay, though. <laughs> well, I mean, there's so, always going to be glitches, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, 
help him out? Yeah, Do we need to pick him up? Jeremy, maybe you don't touch him because he's probably very expensive. Exactly. Okay, you stay away. Yes, if I break it, I buy it, I hear. Right. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, maybe next time. We'll just tuck him in the corner for now. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Get him some water. Yep. He just needs a little break. He was camera shy. Happy hour. That's Camera shy. Yeah, he's cheese happy hour early. But it just shows you that these robots are still developing. All right. In other words, they will constantly change, they constantly evolve. Uh, a perfect example is GoTo. All right. Okay. Now, GoTo is a robot dog, uh, which you've probably seen before. Uh, yes. It can scan the room. It can show what it's seeing. I believe you guys have a footage of that as well. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Now, this particular robot dog originally can only do basic movements. Yep. Here's the camera there footage. Yeah. Okay. There we are. So that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. It gives point of view uh, scene there. That's exactly. Like controlling it. Okay. <laughs> So again, this is scanning, designed for being able to go ahead and like check architecture, things okay. like that. But the dogs has evolved in mm -hmm. the sense that it can actually stand on two feet, like this. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, okay. Oh wow! Oh, well, that's a little frightening. Oh, yeah, just, worry just a little bit. Okay. I mean, <laughs> but okay. it does show you the capability of these robots and what they can do. Yeah. And that's kind of what I do for a living nowadays. Okay. Just kind of reviewing different products like this. And it's, it's just a lot so of fun. we are hearing that you have a rather large collection of robotics. <laughs> um, did you say even one of the largest in the country? That is correct. So okay. I've reviewed just about all the different robots that are out there and future robots going forward. Uh, being able to be the forefront of that gives the opportunity for that, which is actually really great from CES and different mm -hmm. opportunities. It's, it's a lot of fun. You are married with young kids, and I just <laughs> want to know where you store these robots and if your wife is very happy with it. That's really, I'm so curious. I, I guess I, okay. I, I owe that a lot to her for being able to support me in this endeavor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I do have my own home studio, and it works out really well. The kids okay. always love to see it. They're not afraid of robots. They're, they consider them almost like family at this point. But um, it's, it's, a, it's a really fun opportunity and being able to see the forefront of future tech. How are you charging these, by the way? Because I imagine that there's no like gas area that you put gasoline <laughs> in. Or anything. How do they how do they charge? Yeah, so these are just battery battery okay. powered. So simple uh, plug to the wall, and they can just charge in a matter of two hours. They're ready to go. And besides all of these reviews, what else are you doing with yeah. the, I mean, your platform? I mean, we see this beautiful <laughs> plaque. I guess this is what you get when you have over a million subscribers on YouTube, Jeremy. Yes, that is yeah. huge. That is impressive. <laughs> well, yeah. So uh, I actually host a variety of different events for YouTube called the Creator Collective Events for Chicago, uh, where we bring a variety of different YouTubers and creators together to learn from each other, inspire each other, and kind of see what else is out there. Uh, and then being able to give back to the community is always important. Some, like showing to schools and different opportunities like that as well. I imagine you've had a lot of input, impact on young kids who see this, say to themselves, I want to look at that more, I want to study science more. How's that feel? Uh, it's, it's really inspiring for me to mm -hmm. be able to show these different things that people don't get to see in you know, modern day society. Uh, so having this kind of technology, especially for the younger group, is very, very important. Uh, I do feel that the whole creator aspect of it, being able to go and showcase how to go ahead and create videos and you know make a business out of anything it's it's really inspiring i love that all right thank you so much for being with us for more on conflicts check out all of his content on youtube and you can also find him on instagram uh there's the link right there uh the website on your screen there at the bottom we're Thanks gonna so clean much. up the robot later i yeah. promise the robot is fine people all right, right. <laughs> uh, it's okay buddy you had a be a little camera shy, that's all. Okay. There you guys have it. Big special thanks to the good folks who are at WGN for inviting us out. That was a blast and definitely a lot of laughs. Ain't that right, T1? All right, well, with that said, if you guys had any questions, comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.